All right, we're gonna try this camera out here. Digital, new digital camera I'm gonna use here. Okay, that little, there's two caves there. Right there, one standing and one a laying. That one laying behind that cave right there is about 145 yards. Twelve X on the mag, okay. That's forty eight. See his ears. We well, could see a squirrel up there that far easily in this cabin in the winter time, okay. Now move around here just a minute. That right through that antenna top there you see that brush pile. We'll move on around here to the right a little bit. Okay. That's 168 yards. I'm still in the Okay. So, in the winter time, we could see an old squirrel hopping around up there in this camera. 168 yards to the front. About 170 right in there where I'm holding this camera. That's 30x on the zoom. Okay, now we're going to turn this camera off, and I'm going to take my shooting stick book, go back here and do a little movie on squirrels shaking limbs. Okay, this movie here is going to be about squirrels shaking limbs. That phrase gets used a lot. Shaking leaves, shaking limbs. And I made a comment about when it's real wet in the woods, like a heavy fall, after just after a shower of rain, squirrels, they don't, uh, they don't go through trees like they do when they're drier. Okay, and then in the evening when it's hot and dry, they don't go through trees like they do in the morning early when it's, you know, like a dew, a normal dew. So anyway, what you're looking at here is a hackberry limb, and this is just for demonstration purposes, okay? And I got my shoe stick here so I can keep away from this and demonstrate for you, okay? A shaking limb, okay? You might see a squirrel in a hickory tree, okay? It might be doing that right there. There's no doubt about it. You'll see it, okay? But not generally when it's real wet, unless the squirrel is scared of you. Now, if you scare a squirrel and it's real wet and he's trying to get out of Dodge, he's, that's exactly what he's going to try to do. Okay, when you're in the woods and it's wet, you have to use the rhythm of the woods. You'll hear water dropping, okay? So what you have to do is you have to sort of listen for when there's a rhythm, when, what, something, you know, when, what's different. You may see a squirrel, okay, now I'm going to move this limb with this shooting stick, and you can see that shooting stick in the camera, okay. Move that limb down just like that right there, and then ease up on it like that right there, okay. That's exactly what a squirrel can do, okay. They won't always do that, okay? Be out there, you know, picking a nut, running out there real quick to get one. Now, they'll do it, but a lot of your squirrels, when it's wetter, they'll go out and they'll move their limb down like that, and then it'll ease back up, and if there's any wind blowing, well, you've got to discern that from limbs blowing when it's windy. Okay, now, your mulberry tree hunters... This is exactly, in a, no matter what the conditions are, how they will operate in a mulberry tree. The squirrel's way to go out there and he'll ease out there real easy. I'm going to move this shoe stick on out here. He'll move out there real easy. That limb may go down six, eight inches and then ease back up. Okay, now they can get feisty in a mulberry tree and, and sh shake a whole lot, but but they're closer to the ground, generally mulberry trees, and they're, they know they're more vulnerable. Of course, they've got to fill their bellies. Okay, now, shotgun hunters, rifle hunters even, okay, fox squirrels. I've made comments about fox squirrels. Fox squirrels and gray squirrels are two different, they're two different animals, the way they act and how they behave. Now, Put this shoot stick back up here. Now, if you've seen this limb right here, a moving like that right there, and it's a fox squirrel, and you've got a scatter gun, or if you've got a rifle, 
That fox squirrel's not going to be anywhere in this area on this limb. He's going to be. I'm going to turn this camera. You have to lead with your eyes. He may be 15 feet away already, making his getaway. Okay, we're a gray squirrel. There, you won't have to have near the lead time to find him. But a fox squirrel, when he, when you see a limb is shaking, if you're still looking at that shaking limb, you'll never see that squirrel a lot of times. You got to be shifting your eyes around, guessing at where he might have went, and you might get a look at him. Okay. Happened to me a whole lot. And then the old fox squirrel, you know, he's pretty sharp. A lot of times they'll try to bait you into walking right underneath them, right in the tree they're in. And when you do that, and I don't care what kind of gun you got, even a sharpshooter with a scatter gun, the odds of you harvesting that squirrel get awfully small because of the limbs between that squirrel's body and the shooter, okay? He'll get away from you. They're that good. So fox squirrels, you try to stay away from the tree they're in. Try to keep a distance. This is the first video uh, I've done with this little camera here, so we're going to try this out. This is the one I'm going to try to use this season and share some information. I hope you enjoyed the video.